right, guys, we are going to move on to the second segment of the podcast. This is Indecorous News. It's a segment where we highlight the most important news happening across the United States and all over the world. After you listen to the segment, you will never have to listen to another newscast ever again in your entire life. I will read the headline. The headline is, Women in South Korea are mocking men's penises. Women on Twitter are doing that, too. <laughs> yeah. Good. Actually, they're doing it on Twitter, so it's like a double. I feel like they could just take out the in South Korea portion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Why is this news? This is an ever-present item. <laughs> this is the thing that underlies really any other news item. Yes. <laughs> Anything about war, it all really boils down to this. It should be news that, like, South Korean women have decided to be respectful about men. <laughs> that would be news. But this is apparently a development that is causing a lot of controversy. The, the source for this is South China Morning Post, LA Times, the Korean Herald. Okay. So, Bobby, maybe you can give us a little more detail as to why this is even a story. In South Korea, women are protesting pay and labor inequalities by using the pinching hand emoji to mock men, a <laughs> reference to penis size, and build a feminist movement. Many South Korean men say they feel offended by the attack on their bodies and are calling feminism a mental illness, creating a reversal of the Me Too movement. Yeah, do, do you guys know the emoji that they're talking about? That's like the, the, the hand pinching? Yeah, yeah. Wait, like, like the okay? Oh, wait, wait, the, do you mean the white supremacist okay symbol? No, I know that's the only one you know, Bobby. It's the Italian <laughs> kiss. Thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it like explodes, right? No, what? It's the Italian, no, you know, like how an Italian guy, they do this like <laughs> pinch when they're trying to emphasize something, you know, they're like talking to yeah. you. Yeah. It's like, you know, the guy, he does the, and they like pinch their hands. It's that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what Italian guys are doing, too. They're like, well, you know, I'm going to grab a little dick while I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I always wondered what that was about. I was like, ah, you make me want to grab a little dick over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're just great conversationalists. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the victims of the controversy has been a popular South Korean entertainer named JJ, who fell from grace when she was being photographed on the red carpet of the prestigious Bexang Arts Awards. You won a Bexang Art Award once, Jake, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. That's how we met. That was a big year for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> While being pictured, JJ pinched her thumb and index finger together around a small piece of chocolate and lifted it to her lips, which led to outrage from dudes claiming JJ was mimicking the feminist hand signal of radical feminist group Megalia. The hand signal means, quote, small penis. They just need to, the dudes need to start doing the big vagina hand gesture from that Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. Oh, I don't, I don't know that one. Do they have that in South Korea? Is that, has Larry David made it over <laughs> yeah. across the pond? I don't know, but I, I would love to see Curb Your Enthusiasm in South Korea, like dubbed. I would oh, like yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> like to see who's doing his voice in, in Korea. Yeah. I would like to think they use the same people from like anime. <laughs> it's just very, yeah. very dramatic. Yeah, know? it's like uh, the, the voice of Larry David in South Korea is the same voice as Goku. Yeah. <laughs> and the listeners can't see this, but you guys, I posted a picture and I'll post it on the online later. But that's what it is. Uh, I love the, I love the leaps. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Well, you guys describe what it looks like. It looks like a film festival, but uh, about a little dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the opposite of the porn awards or something. It looks like a very introspective movie about little dick. Yeah. It won the Palm d'Or. It does look like an award, like the Dickies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The little Dickies. That's what the brand is about. Yeah, so it, the feminist group is called Megalia, and that is their symbol on their logo is that pinch symbol that we were talking about earlier. The fig leaf or whatever that is, the olive yeah, branch or olive whatever, branch. really, oh. really gives us some gravitas. I think. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it make, it really makes you think that one. So since then, more than ninety-one thousand people have signed a petition demanding the president's office ban JJ from appearing on television on the grounds that her actions and past speeches reveal her misophallist nature. <laughs> which uh, literally means a hatred of all things with penises. I love how they took this and then did like the littlest dick move they possibly could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. I wonder if a mesophallist also hates all of the greeting cards that Spencer gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All things with penises. All things with penises. Oh, and also here's a picture of JJ. John, how would you describe what's going I... on? I. 
I don't think that that's that doesn't look intentional to me. That is exactly the same way I eat a piece of chocolate. Just hold it between your thumb and your index finger. Yeah, yeah. She's eating chocolate in the way that you would eat a piece of chocolate. Yeah. And now she's being she's being run out of South Korea. Yeah. If I had the smallest dick in the world, this wouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> JJ has been the target for anti feminists ever since she said on a mainstream TV program that she'd performed a single dom ceremony. Uh, single dom? Single dom? I, I think it's single dom, yeah. Single dom? Okay, I didn't know if we were headed towards. Uh, headed yeah, for, who knows? Know. It's fucking Asia. <laughs> God knows what they do. Uh, single dom ceremony back in January, said Mia Kim, a 16 year old student in Ansan. They were just looking for an excuse to blame JJ for me- misophily. <laughs> Since she holds different views, that almost sounds, that sounds like a Greek god, right? Like, or like a Greek philosopher, <laughs> Mesopheli. Yeah, this would have been like the Greek philosopher that all the other Greek philosophers hated because they all loved dicks. But this is the one that hated yeah. dicks. No, get those little boy dicks out of here! And they're like, what a radical! Yes, that's right. this guy's crazy. <laughs> that's why we've never heard of Mesopheli. Because yeah. he got run out of Athens. He got canceled for being a good guy. <laughs> yeah. He's the only one not sucking baby dicks. And so, like, ah, what a <laughs> animal. This society is evil. <laughs> uh, and so what is a singledom ceremony, John? A singledom ceremony is the equivalent of a wedding for people who proclaim that they are staying single for the rest of their lives. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, see, this is, I put that on there well, before reason because as much as i think all of this shit is ridiculous i also think singledom like a ceremony isn't that the whole point of yeah not getting married is so you don't yeah. have to go through all the rigmarole of it it's, but now it's, <laughs> so it's a wedding for people that aren't having weddings that's they're just yeah he's, this whole the whole industry is like we're gonna get your money one way or another like i don't want to have a wedding but i do want to go stand at the probate office and <laughs> pay <them some> money <laughs> and, yeah I rent a fucking tuxedo and <laughs> Write a hundred thank you cards. Yeah. Is the bizarro world version of the Stanhope bit about how like, hey, baby, we love each other, but don't you want to get the government involved? It's just like, <laughs> hey, I don't want to get it with anybody, but I just really want to get the government involved. <laughs> <laughs> just, even, even though yeah. I'm just alone forever. I love the DMV, but I don't have a car. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Bobby, you can tell us this next one. Also in May, but before JJ's disgrace, the country's most popular convenience store chain, GS25, was forced to pull an ad for camping equipment after people complained it featured the pinching gesture next to a picture of a Vienna sausage. Now that's like double. Like that's that's, oh my God. that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Uh, the controversy prompted an online petition on the presidential office's website calling on the Navy to cut business ties with the convenience store chain. Oh, my God. We should no longer give profits to the evil company hurting the morale of our military who are sacrificing their youth for this country, the petition read. And again, I have the picture here. Which, how would you guys describe this right here? Oh, it's very, I am upset. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks like what got someone fired from like the Lion King or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like where like the animators wrote sex in the sky or something. <laughs> That's what that looks like. So, yeah, it's like an outdoor picture. Uh, like, at the bottom of the picture is a campsite with a fire. And then above it, there's some letters in the celestial language. <laughs> and then the there's a hand popping up trying to grab a tiny little sausage. Yeah, this one is pretty egregious, I think. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will say, though, that... I mean, I would think I would try to grab it with a fork or something. This is uh, yeah, it looks hot. Yeah, it's just a disrespectful way to grab a hot dog. Yeah, and let alone that there's like two pubic hairs dancing above the sausage. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty fucking. And it's already got ketchup on it right out of the fire. Weird. <laughs> I don't know if that's ketchup, but you know, you get lonely out there in the camping sites. Meanwhile, <laughs> according to the Korean Times, two fast food restaurants also found themselves in hot water after featuring the pinching gesture next to a piece of fried chicken. Dude, th- that looks like the worst fried chicken in the world. That is yeah, corn that looks, ter- that's awful. That's corn flakes. <laughs> that looks like a breakfast cereal for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yuck. Well, so in this case, 
the lady is holding the chicken. It's her off hand. It's her off hand doing the gesture, which, I mean, could just as easily be like doing a dog uh, shadow. Thing. Yeah, it looks, I was going to say, it looks like she forgot her sock puppet and just was still going for it, you know? She's like, no, I can do it without the sock. Yeah. I mean, you know what's more offensive? If you guys look at the dude, it almost looks like he's getting ready to deep throat the... <laughs> chicken yeah that's also not how you eat chicken yeah he's, he's gonna do that old cartoon thing where he puts the whole thing in and then just the bone comes out <laughs> so it's a weird ad to begin with but so both of them have what looks like the gesture with any luck will someday get to try this small dick chicken yeah the tiny dick chicken i feel like that would be a hit here like if you had a restaurant called like tiny dick chicken yeah you got like big gay ice cream. Yeah. This is good, dude. <laughs> Little dick ass. <laughs> oh, chicken ass dick. <laughs> little bitch all our customers are little bitch cuck ass motherfucker you know you're gonna buy it <laughs> uh, but back to this story Bobby you can tell us a little bit more Lee Byung Yu good pronunciation there yeah, yeah. Well, good job yeah. Bobby that's <laughs> well you know I'm organizing with my fellow Korean brothers over here so I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. immerse myself men's rights <laughs> yeah but a 27-year-old sound designer in Seongnam. Uh, I don't think that was good at all. But uh... yeah, yeah, you notice how Jake didn't compliment you that time. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's how I would have said it. <laughs> I need it every time. My mom's from Seongnam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, felt that the controversial adverts were evidence of a deeper force at work, and that some kind of reckoning was overdue. <laughs> he added. <laughs> He added that it was the job of the male activism group, New Man of Korea. Oh, let's go. To stand against these extremists. Ah, oh, could you just imagine, like, spending your Saturday hanging out with those people? Yeah, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, every Saturday until we get our rights. Um, and I will be sure to join their cries against feminism. <laughs> the original Man of Korea group was founded in 2008 with aims that included abolishing the Ministry of Gender Equality and Family and requiring women to carry out military service. It faded into obscurity after its leader, Seong Jang Ji, uh, died. I, I added an N to one of those words. Yeah. No, but I think that's how you pronounce it, very slowly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he died in 2013 by jumping off a bridge over the Han River during a stunt to bring awareness to the group. That'd be really funny. And then they do his autopsy, and he just had the tiniest of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh, my God. Did they talk about that after an autopsy? <laughs> I don't want that to be in mine. I want that redacted. I feel like your body would have to be pretty fucked up for a mortician to be like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Died of natural causes, but a stick was super fucking weird. <laughs> well, they're making it a point to talk about... I've, I have heard so much about Epstein and Weinstein's penises in recent months. Have you? That, no. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah. You got to fill us in. Yeah. What the, what, what's this, Bobby? What, 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 like a hook dick or something? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like corkscrew duck dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Epstein had a weird egg shaped <laughs> fucking. Uh, yeah. I did. I remember that in fuck whatever the documentary or some shit. They said he had an egg shaped dick. And I was just like, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> like a show? But what the fuck? Yeah. I, did they just say that and then move on? Yeah. Yeah. Because was... I feel like that raises a lot of questions. Yeah. Yeah. No, they did. They just like, they were like, he kind of weird dick. Because it was like, <laughs> it's what they used to like corroborate some of the victim stories. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. You guys remember that story about that cop that I guess accused some teenage boy of sending dick pics or something? I think that was what it was about. So the cop brings the guy to the hospital and demands they inject him with Viagra or something to give him a heart on. <laughs> and then it turns out that this cop, of course, was a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and they just wanted to look at the kid's dick. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. I remember when you first told that story, and I was like, I wonder if he just did that for every single person he arrested. He's like, I don't know. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta inject his dick. I mean, yeah, shoplifting. Just to be sure. <laughs> we're we're yeah. not gonna get a shoplifting conviction without a hard dick. Pick. This guy was speeding, but I, I don't know. We gotta take a look at this guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs>